Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee, and I looked around and not everybody has a mythic Hermitron yet, which might just give me the fighting chance I need to take this competition and turn it around. I say turn it around, I'm already technically in the lead. Hey, what's this? Oh, is this where we put our scoring things? Oh, this is how we see how many points people have. Uh-oh. Cub fan has six points. That's no good. I only have four. Wells Knight has four. Dang it, how am I going to be tied with Wells Knight for the lead if Cub fan's always getting ahead of us? This must be stopped. And you know what? The best way to stop things sometimes is with a stake in your hand, a sword in your heart. No, a sword in the heart of your enemies. Don't put sword directly in heart of self. Bad idea. Wow. Stutter stairs. St -st -st stairs. Let's go ahead and fly up here and actually like, ooh, we are running low on these firework propellants. That is not going to help us as we seek out whatever wealth and treasure might yet await uh, us. Hmm. Now, one possibility is that maybe nobody has really looked in the end lately. I know that that fella Wren likes to go to the end, and when he does, sometimes he brings us a friend called the Hermitron. So we're just going to fly up here all around. Quick 360 no scope, because I didn't scope out any Hermitrons. Dang it, that's most unfortunate. And we are going to head on our way to the end. Real quick, let's make sure he didn't hide one behind the nether portal to get to the end portal, because that would be a very Rendog thing to do. Very sneaky. Very sneaky indeed. None hiding back here. None under here. I feel like I'm playing hide-and-go-seek with my child. The difference is my child is asleep right now. So it's more like hide-and-go-sleep. But also I'm playing with Rendog, who is actually on British time. And therefore also most likely asleep. So I'm probably playing hide-and-go-sleep with him as well. Hmm. Now there's a chance that he would hide it over there in that fancy spaceship thing. But I think realistically, if Ren was going to hide some sort of crazy Hermitron contraption, somewhere in the end. He would probably hide it somewhere a little bit more, I don't know, flashy. Like, maybe atop one of those pillars there. Let's go see if we can get eyes on those pillars using our own eyes. Whoops. I think I accidentally looked at one of those guys. This is about to be a problem. Dang it. I'm about to die in the end. I did. I died in the end. Well, uh, in the end, there's one thing that I know why. It's why when I go there that I want to cry, I best recognize that maybe I don't need the supplies that I've got. Unless I want to survive. Okay, let's go. Oh good, I have mail, and it is predominantly stone. What a wonderful way to go. Oh wait, I have an end nether portal in my house. To the end. This would probably be better if I knew more words to the song in the end, but those are literally all the ones I know. Also, let's quickly go ahead and make some, uh, st some bread, because we might starve on our way there. Starvation. It's uh, nature's way of telling you that you shouldn't have looked at the Enderman. Throw some golden boots on here. These are pretty good. Probably, uh, you know what, let's grab these ender pearls too, just in case we need them. I don't think endermen pick up things that I would drop from my person, so I should be able to go and reclaim all that stuff pretty easily. I say that, and I know simultaneously that I'm wrong. This will go terribly, and I'm trying not to sob. Okay, so here we go. Here we go again in the end. Luckily that word rhymes with friends. Because y'all are here till I mend my inventory gap. Wow, uh -oh. some of these might have fallen over this. Oh, I had those chests with me that were full of materials. If I lost any single one of those, that could be very bad. Dang it, okay. Let's go ahead and place this one real quick and start throwing extra gear into either one. 
just so we can be sure to dang it of course I don't uh, have a pick nail okay so there's the white one yeah that's one of the dangers of carrying literally an insane amount of stuff on you at any time is that you could die and lose it all well I guess that's always a problem with materialism in our society we're so focused on what we carry that we don't think about what we're dropping Wait, maybe that's an environmental statement, which wasn't really my intent, but I guess it works there, too. So let's go and make sure that uh, nothing left over here fell of sides. Luckily, those guys don't seem to be angry at me anymore, or aggravated, as the gamers would say. Let's go ahead and give this a quick look-see, just in case there is a cool um, hidden hermitron somewhere. We came all this way. You know what? Let's actually get our good armor back on, just in case, now that we're talking about it. We don't need our wings, because I don't plan on flying in here. That's ludicrously hazardous. Actually, it's probably pretty safe now that they've got the fireworks, but I'm almost out of fireworks, you'll remember. So, we are not going to fly the wings. Let's just go ahead and look generally in this broad direction. Like, maybe Ren hid a Hermitron directly behind one of these far pillars. That would be very clever. Nope. Hey, there's a cool little island over here with some chests and stuff. Let's see what it says. Assume as void. Please do not burn this area to the ground with absolutely no discretion. Okay, well, we'll come back later with some flint and steel to deal with that problem. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get out of here without dying. I believe I can do this. Just kind of mind casual yay we made it a new day is dawning on hermitcraft well we are back and we are in a clearing there was a book which is supposedly a map sold by rendog all that recording has been lost however so let's go ahead and clear up some things basically rendog set up a thing where he would sell books that would show you where one chest, or a Hermitron case, or whatever, reserved specifically for you could be determined in location, or could be discovered. And unfortunately, that part of the recording has been ruined. So I'm going to go ahead and continue straight to the Hermitron Hall, hopefully with my one remaining firework being just massively sufficient, because we have a ways to go. It is not going to be okay. I'm I'm going to be out of fireworks. And I'm not going to make it back. Dang it. Okay. So, new plan. Let's get our good sword out and fight our way through. I believe I can continue this way. I've got this Hermitron box that I recovered from that location. Hey, there we go. There. That looks like a secret entrance. Let's go ahead and secretly enter real quick. Dang it, where's my flying? Okay, so parts of this are not going as well as I would like. Including, oh, that part, that part's going poorly. That part is not going well. Dang it, guys. Can't reach them. Well, anyway, my point is that I found a box that I had to pay for a map to get to. And I would like to take that box and put it in the Hermitron Center before I'm killed by a creeper. Or a zombie. Or a anything, really. So we're going to go ahead and lure this guy back here so that when he spawns people from getting hit, they're far enough away from me it's not my problem. And then we are going to continue straight on till morning. Here we go. This yellow box is the one I found off camera. Let's go ahead and inventory its contents. We've got a Nether Wisp, which is uncommon. We've got a Spencer, which is uncommon. A Marrow, which is common. A common Mel Pip. A common Moss Brick. And a rare Dirt Shirt. Now, that all sounds great, um, but unfortunately, none of those are mythics. So before we do anything else, let's see if there's anything mythic we can trade for in these chests here, because that would be super handy. Well, there are no mythics at the moment, it seems. So it really kind of doesn't matter what we put on our wall and what we put in the chests. I figure we'll go ahead and hold on to 
these two nether wisps. So if somebody's trying to create the uh, seven set, we can at least frustrate them, even if we can't necessarily win. Um, then let's see, we've got rare dirt shirts. And let's go ahead and put the spencer in here. Now nothing else here is really worth trading for. So unfortunately I'm in a situation where I must dump these commons into this chest and call it a day. So there we go. Melpip, Marrow. Ooh, I do have this Spencer though. Maybe I want to hold on. Is there anything else I'd rather have than... Let's see if... Dang it. Why do people dig holes here? That is not a good place to put holes. Okay. Would I rather have Spencer than any of these other ones? Yeah, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take Moss Brick back and put Spencer right there. Boom. There we go. So we'll just let that slime jump over and bother Tango instead of us. And fall in the lava, 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 water, 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 water. Okay. Well, my feet feel much better. That's what I get for letting that slime bother Tango instead of just solving problems myself. So... Yeah, what was it, what were we going to do? We were going to trade... Mo well, we can't trade Moss Brick because we already have enough stuff. Dang it! Too much stuff spawns in here. This is looking pretty good, though, Tango. I like the... Brown, uh, or not brown, the uh, black concrete powder especially. That looks really good with the nether rack. That's really cool. Okay. Well, so unfortunately, since I lost a lot of the footage from earlier, I'm still out of time to record for today. But I do appreciate you guys watching. Sorry for not showing you the map part, but really, it was literally just me going to Rendog's place, giving him ten diamonds, picking up this book, and going, you know, this book doesn't look like it was worth ten diamonds. You know what? It turns out I was right. That book was not worth 10 diamonds. That was that was not really worth 10 diamonds at all. But now I've learned my lesson for next time. So, anyway, until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.